Hi everyone, welcome to my talk. My name is Felix Schuster and today I'm going to talk about scalable combination computing on Kubernetes with Marble Run. A few words about myself. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Azure Systems and we are a startup building open source software for combination computing. And one of the, the tools that we built is, is Marble Run. And Marble Run is an extension to your existing service mesh that makes your deployment a confidential deployment. So what does this mean? A couple of things. So first, this means that all your data remains encrypted all the time, even at runtime during processing. Next, it means that you can cryptographically verify the integrity, the topology and functionality of your, of your deployment. And you get protection against very strong attackers like malicious cloud admins, malicious Kubernetes admins, or even physical attackers like, like data center insiders. So this sounds pretty cool, right? Um, and it allows you to, a couple of things. So it, it enables you to, to retrofit your existing Kubernetes deployments with top-notch security, and it allows you to essentially keep the cloud provider out of your trusted computing base and, and use the cloud with more confidence and move more workloads with the, to the cloud. Um, and it allows you to build exciting new applications that provably preserve the privacy of your data sources. Yeah, so this possibly sounds too good to be true. And so how do we do this? Obviously, there is no such thing as magic. So we rely on, on a new technology called confidential computing. And in a nutshell, confidential computing is all about running sensitive workloads in so-called secure enclaves. And these enclaves are available on many recent server CPUs, for example, from Intel. And these enclaves have three defining properties. So they can run arbitrary software in, in, in strong isolation and no other system component like the operating system, the hypervisor, other apps, or, or even, even other hardware components can, can look inside an enclave or interfere, interfere with an enclave. Um, the second important security feature is runtime encryption. So everything that is stored or is running inside an enclave remains encrypted in main memory, even at runtime. And the final property is verifiability. So you can get a certificate from your CPU that says, okay, hi, I am a genuine Intel CPU and I'm running this piece of, of code in, in my secure enclave. And this is a very strong property and we use this to build end-to-end -end verifiability for, for, for your whole cluster with Marble Run. So competent computing hardware is widely available and you can get it in your favorite clouds. And we, for now, with Marble Run only support Azure, but we are we're working on bringing it to, to other clouds and other hardware vendors. Okay, so let's, let's dig into the details. So how do we create a confidential deployment? Essentially, there are two steps. First one, you need to, to build confidential containers and that is, is fairly easy. So if, you, if your app is entirely written in Go, then you can just use our open source Go framework to, to just take your app and package it for, for an enclave. So that's done. So the, the last and final step is to securely mesh your services in, inside your, your deployment at runtime. And this, this is what Marble Run takes care of. And this requires a couple of steps. So first, we really want to have container to, cost, to container attestation. So one container running inside an enclave needs to make sure that the other container it's talking to is also running inside an enclave. That's very important because otherwise we could have mock up enclaves that could just steal secrets. Next, we want to have deployment to client attestation. So we want clients of our deployment to be able to verify the overall integrity 
and, and functionality of, of the deployment. Next, we, we need MTLS to not terminate inside sidecar proxies, but directly inside a secure enclaves, because otherwise it could be intercepted by attackers. And we need enclave-based secrets management. So we can't rely on Kubernetes for secrets management because in our case, Kubernetes is running outside enclaves. So it is not part of our trusted computing base and the attackers we consider could just, can just access the Kubernetes secret store. And finally, we also take care of, of code updates in a secure way. And from a 10,000 feet point of view, this is what the workflow looks like when you install Marlboro. So you start with an empty Kubernetes deployment and you do as normal. You install your favorite service mesh, for example, Linkerd. And the next thing you do is you install Marlboro using the Marlboro CLI. And then you do a very important step. And that is you define in, in a file called manifest, you define in JSON all the confidential computing specific aspects of your deployment. And the final step is you install your app as normal. And if you packaged your app with, with Ego, then your containers will automatically contact the Marlboron coordinator over secure and mutually attested TLS connections. And Marlboron will make sure that these containers adhere to the manifest and only if they if they do, if they comply with the manifest, Marble Run will issue TLS credentials to these containers and will also send over the, the, the other secrets. And the next, the client can come, the client can establish a secure connection to you, to your deployment, and this connection also terminates directly inside a secure enclave. So it's really end-to-end -end secure. And what the client also can do is the client can get an attestation statement from the Marlboro coordinator. And by ex ex examining that statement, the client can convince themselves that this cluster or this deployment adheres to what is specified in this manifest. And this is a very powerful feature. Okay, so there's one app we like to use for demo purposes. Um, it's Emoji Voto. It's the default demo from the Linkerd service mesh. And if you want to run this in Marlboro, it's super simple. Um, you just package the three services uh, using, using Ego. You don't need to change a single line of code. And you define the manifest. The manifest in this case is only 130 30 lines of, of JSON. And then you're good to go. And you can just use Marlboro and let it take care of the rest. Okay, and here's, here's the, the manifest for the Emoji Voto demo. And in the first section, we define all the enclaves that are allowed to run in our deployment. In this case, we have, we have three enclaves and they are defined by, by, the, by, the, by, by the signature's fingerprint. And down here, we define the, the parameters for the enclaves. Um, in this case, mostly environment variables, but this could also be files, for example. And further down, we define the secrets that live inside this deployment. In this case, we just have one secret, which is a web cert. And these secrets get automatically injected into the right enclaves and Marble Run takes care of that. All right, this was my quick introduction to Marble Run. I hope you found this interesting. To summarize, what Marble Run does is it turns your existing deployment into a confidential deployment. And this is super exciting because this keeps all your data encrypted at all the times even during processing. And it allows you to verify the integrity and functionality of your deployment. Even better, it protects against very strong attackers like malicious Kubernetes admins, malicious cloud admins, or malicious data center workers. And it enables cool new applications that pr preserve the privacy of your data sources. Next steps. Um, check out marlboro.sh for code, further examples, and if you have any questions, feel free to, to join the Discord. And you can find me on Twitter at FLXFLX, and yeah, let's keep in touch. Let me know what you think, and 
Goodbye.